Good morning, thank you for joining me here today. We are gonna be wear testing the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I have a deluxe sample here of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Besso. This is a 1.5 ml sample, which is exactly half of a full size. The full size retails for 31 Canadian dollars and you get three mls. There are about 18 different colors in this range. They're all kind of boring, honestly. They're all pink, brown, red, purple, matte, so really basic everyday staples. And they're all matte finish except for one shimmer nudie pink. It's like cinnamon nude. Besto is described as a true red, one of my favorite colors. And these are supposed to be highly pigmented and weightless and long lasting. The only directions on the website say to apply directly to your lips with the brush applicator. So that's what I'm gonna do. My lips today are completely bare. I just did some exfoliation and some moisturization, so my lips tend to run really dry, so we'll see if this kills it or helps it. The wand here is very strange. It's kind of like a duck bill where it's mostly flat and just has a tiny little swoop on it. It's got a smell. I wanna say like artificial chocolatey. And actually the wand's really nice to use. I thought it would be worse than that, but it makes the bottom where I usually have a lot of trouble quite easy to apply. The wand has a lot of give, so you can really like get in there and see what you're doing. The color is absolutely divine. It is 100% completely opaque. There is no lip, uh, lip color of mine showing through. None of the dry patches stuck or missed color or got a different color. It does feel weightless, but at the same time, it does feel kind of creamy. I assume once it dries down, it's gonna feel completely weightless. And the doe foot applicator was really actually very nice to use it. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, just judging by how it looked. But this is honestly one of my favorites so far in terms of control and getting like a precise line. It's described as a red red. I would say it's a slightly warm red. <laughs> We'll let this dry down and then check it out over in natural light and see how it wears over the next 12 hours. I have good hopes for it so far. Uh, knock on wood that it's gonna be a good one. As it dries down, it definitely feels more light and powdery rather than sticky and gross. But let's, let's keep going. All right guys, it's the end of the night and let's see how this lipstick is holding out. It's actually not doing too, too bad and it actually still feels really comfortable. It is lightweight and my lips don't feel particularly dry. I feel like if I wanted to touch up, I would definitely be better taking it off and then putting it back on again. From far away, it looks pretty decent. This is post dinner and I didn't touch up post dinner. Um, so, Pretty good, there's a little bit of the inner part of my lip that's worn down and the outside corners are a little bit worn down and there's even slight feathering around the outside which I noticed kind of by middle of the day, definitely once I ate. So if you're worried about feathering, this might be one that you either need a lip pencil with or you take it off and reapply it after each meal. The color itself was absolutely gorgeous it's a beautiful matte very opaque color i would definitely rank this as one of my favorite long lasting liquid lipsticks if you really like those vintage red red lips i would say this is another really good one let's do a couple swatches quick of this color to compare it with some other colors so we'll do the stila one first and then in my mind, kind of the red red standard is the Besame red color, which are incredibly close indeed. They're incredibly, incredibly close as you can see there. 
to compare it to another one it reminded me of the Ciate liquid velvet which I really enjoyed wearing also incredibly similar I always do this to myself here's American doll from ABH I would say okay they're all pretty much the same color um, the Ciate one is maybe just a tiny bit cooler it's probably the coolest of the swatches if we compare it to the wet n wild liquid catsuit in missy and red that one again is just a tiny bit more blue based but really they're all super super incredibly close colors let's try one more here let's do the graveyard girl color this one again is a little bit warmer so it's a little bit closer to um the stila beso so just to reiterate this is stila beso um the besame 1920 red which is the only bullet one that I've swatched here the Ciate ABH American doll which is almost kind of the darkest looking at them on my hand here then we did the liquid cat suit and then gray red girl the best part about this lipstick like it felt really good taking it off but honestly um, it felt pretty comfortable all day and I feel like if I had taken it off and then reapplied it once more maybe um, not after lunch, but maybe around the 8 o'clock point, I would have been much, much more like comfortable. So I think it's fair to say it would last a full work day and then you need to reapply after dinner or something, which is absolutely more than fair enough. And yeah, my lips feel great. So I would totally recommend you try out the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I'm going to give this liquid lipstick a 4.5 out of 5, just with a caution that it does feather out slightly. If you have any experience with any of their liquid lips or if you have a color that you'd recommend for me, maybe something a little bit bolder and different, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Would I repurchase this again? I would definitely look at trying out a different color. Um, I guess the only other problem is they didn't have any incredibly eye-catching, really dark, crazy colors that I would be like super interested. Again, leave your recommendations down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you'd like to see more beauty content from me. I do a new beauty video every single day of the week. If you'd like to help support my channel, the best thing you can do is just help a sister out and share this video with anybody else who might find it helpful or my myriad of other red lipstick videos. If you also want to take your support to the next level, you can check me out over on Patreon. And aside from that, you guys, I will see you all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye.